there was a restaurant in Thailand that commonly showed up on the top five restaurants in Asia, and it had like I believe three Michelin stars at the time it was open. That restaurant's gone now; they closed down, and I think the chef moved somewhere else. But it was a very interesting restaurant, and I learned first learned about it from some、uh, show, a cooking show on Netflix. And I thought to myself, looked it up, and I was like, "Hey, this menu is very interesting. The dishes they do, it's like kind of like modern micro gastronomy kind of thing. It was very interesting, and I was very intrigued by it. And I mean, it has pretty good review as well, accepted. So I figured it must be a good restaurant." So for a couple of years, when I was traveling through Asia back and forth, I kept trying to make reservations to eat at this restaurant, and every time I never heard back from them. In hindsight, it was probably because their emails replying to me always ended up in the spam box, and I just never saw it. But one year, I finally used different mailbox, and I actually got a response from them. So I was like, "Great, I'm gonna make a reservation." And at that, on that particular trip, I was traveling with. Five other guys, so there was six of us total, and asked them, "Hey, would you be interested in going to this restaurant?" I showed them the Netflix special, and they were like, "Oh yeah, cool. This sounds interesting. Be something fun to do."、Uh, so we basically made reservations for six, and when the day cut, rolled around, we made our way to the restaurant. It's a nice upscale restaurant with prefix food and all that good stuff, and. The menu was very interesting because it was styled like I recall it was like twenty six courses and it was styled after a bunch of emojis and alphabets, something related to the alphabets, and it all had very interesting theme that may or may not have been related to each other. So it was very creative. We sat down, we started eating, the dishes came out. Immediately, one of the guys at the table just disliked it, and I thought to myself, ah, maybe he just is not into this stuff. So he hated it. I mean, he barely ate any of touched his food or ate any of the dishes. But as the course went on, the other guys started showing their dislike of the food as well. And it honestly, you know, prefix meals can be very slow, especially if there are a bunch of small dishes coming out.、Um, at some point, they basically just said, "Well, I, we 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 just don't like this, and we don't enjoy this experience. So we're gonna take off and go find something else we prefer." So they ultimately left. And there was two of us with table for six, and at intermission we went outside. And this one girl, very cute girl, was dressed up, and she was trying to get a seat at the restaurant because she heard about it as well. But they said that no, you know, you need reservation on stuff. And we were sitting there, it's like, hey, do you mind eating with us?、Um, four of our friends left, and so, you know, you're welcome to have one of their dish, want to have their seats. So she finally agreed to join us, and. It, we had plenty of food, even though half the meal was gone.、And、I don't know if she particularly liked it, but we became good friends, and we actually traveled together for on a couple of other trips as well. And it was really nice that I met her. And the time went on. Unfortunately, you know, with people when you're this far away, don't talk as much anymore. Well, if you like the story, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week for another episode. Safe trip.